Hello and greetings once again, my friend. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for those of you who are my current subscribers. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel and also stopping by. I also want to want to welcome and thank those who have just uh, run across this channel for the very first time. Thank you also for stopping by. Please, guys, don't forget at the end of the video to subscribe if you have not yet done so. And also uh, hit the like button, share the video with someone that you think this video could be a blessing to. And please don't forget to leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. Now, today I want to go through the book of Haggai. I will not be able to get to uh, chapter 2, but I'm going to attempt to at least uh, get to chapter 1 and maybe halfway through. and Or the very worst case scenario, I'll do an introduction and we'll continue on to a part 2 of this video. Really, because I'm running on uh, limited storage today, so there's no telling what my video will do. Okay, well that being said, let me first start off with just a few words of prayer. And Father, I thank you today for this opportunity and for those who are gathered and those who will run across this video. Father, I pray that you will minister to them by your spirit, move by your spirit, Father. Open their eyes to see, their ears to hear, and their understanding, Lord God, so that they will receive this word today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Well, guys, um, before I start, I want to share something with you. Years ago, as in, to be exact, uh, the beginning of 2011, I had a very powerful prophetic dream. And this prophetic dream was um, a dream that the Lord uh, allowed me to be in and receive as um you know i i he wanted me to meet the prophet haggai first of all and so it was it was about this encounter i was in my deep sleep i remember and my attention was drawn to the skies in the dream and as i looked at the sky i saw that there was much turmoil going on in the sky and I felt in my spirit that something powerful was about to happen. And then the, the clouds were just uh, rolling and um, the colors of the, the, the clouds in the sky was um, just uh, like uh, mixed with brownish, uh, grayish, reddish, yellowish, mixed with white clouds and so i immediately noticed that the clouds opened and out of the heavenlies i saw someone descending as if they were coming here on the earth as i stood there in the middle of a city the city in my spirit uh the lord revealed that it was manhattan i stood there just looking up at the sky in the midst of these high-rise buildings in a very uh, significant part of the city, it seemed, a very significant part of Manhattan. And so this person was coming down, down, down until they came right down and stood in front of me. As I looked at this person, the Lord, I was asking the Lord who this person is. He, he had felt in my spirit in that dream that he was someone of great significance. And so the Lord said it was the minor prophet, Haggai. And so I said, wow, you know, you actually sent Haggai to, to, to speak with me, to give me a message. You sent Haggai so that I could meet him. It was really, that's, that's really how I was feeling in uh, this very powerful and profound dream, my friend. And so uh, Haggai uh, began to behave as if he was commu trying to communicate something to me. He, um, first of all, as I looked at him, let me just describe what he looked like. Guys on his feet were sandals. They were brown in color. It seems like they were leather sandals. And 
there were very loose on his feet you know as if someone would just slip their feet in their sandals that's how it was dark brown leather sandals was what he had on he also had on a robe and the robe went as long as uh, to just above his ankle that's where it stopped so you could see his uh, sandal sandals entirely because the robe was just above his ankle the color of the robe was uh, a cream color and the fabric seemed as if it was uh, a calico fabric and for those of you who are from Jamaica you know what a calico fabric is and um, he also had um, a scarf draped around his neck uh, two scarves one was the same color as the cocky not cocky sorry the same color as the calico fabric and cream in color and also the other was like a rust color um, scarf that was draped around his neck the scarf was very big and long or I would say wide and long and so it draped from went from his arm and it went up to his shoulders and then it went around his neck and draped down on the other side of his arm to just above below rather his knee and that's what he was wearing now his uh, skin color was as if someone fair in complexion but they had been tanned from sun exposure so his skin was like a rustic color like bronzish but it was as if he was fair in complexion but the sun caused him to have a tan like a bronzish color tan his hair had big waves like one inch waves and it was cut short of course like an afro but they were in one inch waves so his hair was curly my friends but in big curly waves and the color of his hair was of a light brown color and he also had some hair on his face and the facial hair was not very uh, long the facial hair was uh, short and he had some like a mustache as well and it was short as if he was in the beginning stage of growing his starting to grow his beard and uh, that's pretty much how the the minor prophet Haggai looked uh, when he stood in front of me then he began to walk with me as I walked around the city of Manhattan and he began to show me some things that were to happen in Manhattan these high-rise buildings were standing in their places However, I saw when the buildings were rooted up and they were being tossed in different angles to the left, to the right, some were leaning forward, some were leaning backward, some were turning around on different angles. And so it seemed as if these buildings were just in the sky. Imagine an earthquake in the sky. These buildings were moving around as if there was an earthquake in the atmosphere. And the Lord spoke in my spirit and says, there shall be a shaking, a shaking. There's going to be a shaking, a shaking, a shaking of the financial area, a shaking of corporations and businesses. And also in these buildings that were high rise buildings, I also saw that some of these buildings were not just business buildings, my friend, but they were also buildings where people actually lived in there were residential buildings and so they were also going to be shaken rooted up and be shaken also as well so it was a combination of residential buildings corporate buildings and both that were being rooted up in the city of manhattan and were being shaken also the lord showed me that um in the midst of this that there was going to be much chaos people were in this in this dream my friend i saw people were uh confused they were troubled and they were surprised and they were in a bit of chaos and frantic movements trying to figure out what was going on and so that's pretty much the gist of my vision and my encounter with the minor prophet haggai for some of you who don't know Haggai is a minor prophet and he's mentioned here in the book of Haggai and so this just let me give you a brief overview uh, the authorship of the book is uh, the book of Haggai is virtually uncontested as Haggai's name is mentioned nine times 
Haggai is known only from this book and the book of Haggai and two other references that were made of him in the book of Ezra. Ezra 5 verse 1 and Ezra 6 verse 14. And now, uh, <clears throat> Haggai uh, returned from Babylon guys Haggai returned from Babylon with a remnant and may well have been one of the few people who could remember the former temple before its destruction guys and so Haggai was therefore he was instrumental he was very instrumental in the rebuilding of the temple and so um, the timeline that we're talking about here is the century of 520 BC, my friends. And the key verses in the book of Haggai would be Haggai 1 verse 7 through 8. And I will read that briefly for you. It says, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. And in verse 8, go up to the mountain and bring wood and bring and build the house, and I will take pleasure in it, and I will be glorified, saith the Lord. And so these are the main key verses in the book of Haggai. It's in Haggai 1, verse 7 and 8. And so um, the theme of the book of Haggai, and I'll try to run through this really briefly before I dive into the reading of chapter 1. Uh, Haggai is the first of the post texts. Lytic uh, prophets. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Um, addressing the immediate problem of the rebuilding of the temple, guys. And so the people had returned about 20 years earlier, but apathy and opposition was keeping the work from being completed. And so Haggai's concern is the neglect of the temple. It's a symptom of bigger problem. And so God had uh, has dropped out of the Israelite site as a priority. And the people are more concerned now with building their materialistic lifestyles than they were with their relationship with God. And is that not very true with what we have going on in today's world, my friend? And on this note, I'm going to stop here and this will be my part one. And we'll be continuing on with part two shortly.